Impressive, one word to describe a 38-20 shellacking by the Sun Devils over Utah. Hode Rubino joins us from Devil's Digest. The takeaways jump right out. Crosswell, Robertson, Williams, that certainly was a big factor, but there was a lot to this win. Yeah, absolutely, but you started with the defense, so let, let, let's start over there. Uh, I think the best thing that Herm Edwards did since he arrived in Tempe is hire Danny Gonzalez as a defensive coordinator. You uh, open uh, the internet today and you see a passing defense that was ranked dead last in the country in 2015 and 16, ranked in the low hundreds last year, is right now number 55 in the country. That is just uh, an achievement that was unfathomable uh, just, when, just last year, even when the year started, especially when you start a new 3-3-5 system, and you have so many young players, like you said, Merlin Robertson, a linebacker, Ashari Quaswell at safety, Jermaine Lowley at uh, a at, at defensive line. So uh, I think uh, it's uh, a great achievement for Danny Gonzalez and his staff to have those freshmen really buy in right away. Maybe there's some growing pains in the beginning, but uh, what you saw uh, yesterday was an unbelievable performance. Utah over the last four games is averaging 41 points per contest. Yesterday only scored 20 points, only three points in the second half. Last three possessions of the game, three and out, three and out interception. Very impressive performance by the Sun Devils. The other part of this is you can't help but notice the dominating performance by Nikhil Harry. Nine catches, 161 yards, three touchdowns. All year we've been saying get more touches, get more touches. They did, and did it ever pay off? Absolutely. You look at him, not only did he have nine receptions, he was targeted ten times. And that is really a welcome departure from, from some games that we saw earlier in the year where uh, maybe it was too much effort to spread the ball around, maybe too much emphasis on the running game and not involving somebody who's going to be a first-round uh, draft pick uh, in, in April. But uh, I think uh, just the balanced offense that, a that ASU displayed yesterday, to me, that was key. 251 yards rushing against the third-best rushing defense in the country that was giving up only 81 yards per contest. Uh, that, to me, was a great statement by Arizona State. Offensive coordinator Rob Likens made up his mind that he doesn't care how stout uh, this defense is on, on the other side of the ball. He's going to try to pound the ball early and often, and it worked great. And as you know in football, when you, when you have the running game going for you, that makes it so much easier for the passing game, even, even if you don't have wide receivers of the caliber of Nikhil Harry. But what else can you say about the junior from Chandler High School? He can catch a ball in traffic. He can take a ball uh, in, in the backfield and, and run, it, run it 40 yards uh, down the field. I think his speed is very underrated even for somebody that could play linebacker or defensive line at the next level. The other could part of this, too, I, I got to tell you, I mean, 19 to 24, Manny Wilkins, I thought it was one of his best passing days of his career. No, absolutely. It was very, very efficient. Obviously, had the interception in the third quarter, which uh, luckily for Arizona State uh, proved to be insignificant. But uh, again, I think uh, the running game is the quarterback's best friend. And uh, Manny Wilkins, throughout his career at ASU, when he had a stout running game behind him, that's when he's more comfortable. That's when he has to take less chances. And again, having uh, uh, playmakers like Nikhil Harry and even uh, players like uh, like Kyle Williams, like like Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk had over 100 yards, uh, a career high himself. Uh, I think that just makes uh, everything much easier when you have the running game going. And again, mentally, doing it against a team like Utah to really demolish them, to have uh, three times uh, their, their average uh, rushing yards, uh, that's that, that's definitely impressive, and the domino effect uh, definitely showed. This is going to be a big week. Uh, UCLA coming in for Senior Day, final home game of the season, and then it's really two tough, challenging road games, Oregon and then at Arizona. The Sun Devils on the rise the final month of the season. 